When we first started this project, I thought it was going to be somewhat of a slam dunk, and it, it's anything but that. The last six weeks have been absolutely insane. We're doing everything we can. Brad and Justin have worked about 36 straight days, 12 hour days, all labor intensive. We're building a car from the ground up. There's no like brake pedal assembly already made or steering wheels already in it or suspensions already mounted. None of that is done. So this, like every little piece you have to touch or put your hands on to make a full functioning car. We just got the bruiser back from paint and it looks really, really good. This is the first stage of the paint. Wanted to get the frame done before we actually started installing for a final time. The engine, transmission, oil lines, radiators, all the different stuff you need. Just not. This bruiser should be able to go anywhere that you point it. But at the same time, we want to give people a good feeling when they see it. So we take that hot rod mentality into it as well. I've been working on the scoop that'll come through the hood. This will be on the underside of the scoop. It'll be an Easter egg that somebody can kind of see and, oh, what is that? One of the exciting parts of this that I don't think has ever been done before, we built a giant conveyor belt using CAMSO belts, which would be the same belts you'd see on snowmobiles. If you do get yourself high centered into a place where you just can't get out of, you'll be able to hit a button. It's actually run off of a winch. So it'd be maybe a winch button, but that kind of a thing. And that'll drive you over that one area, help the four wheels. Right now it's odds and ends, cutting down bolts, making sure bolt lengths are right. It's the small, tedious stuff that takes forever. And then it also looks like you're getting nothing done. Like you can work on a part for four, five, six hours and put it in the car and it literally doesn't change anything. Where when you're putting a tube chassis together, you can get three or four tubes in, it looks like a car. And it's just all small, tedious stuff. That's the hardest part of the build. You know, Justin's been killing it. He was able to lower the floor, I think, two or three inches, and we were able to kind of finagle some things and get the seat back another two inches. Setting up one of the shift shafts for the transfer case. I'm making the boots for it. So it keeps it from getting dirt down in there and seizing up. There's pros and cons of being on a small team like we are. There's only four of us here. We can turn on a dime. If we make a decision that we don't like where that is, we just turn left. It's been a long haul. We're gonna assemble the car as fully as we can here, and then it'll go off to our, basically the body paint shop, and they'll do the fit and finish on the body and, and paint. It's been quite a few projects I've been able to be involved with, with Marty and team here at Motorsports Garage. If you look at it now and you would completely freak out if I didn't know how they come together at the last 11th hour, if you will, for SEMA. This unique thing with having TRD as part of our family, as well as it being a Toyota built motor because it's built right here in Costa Mesa, California. It's fantastic to be able to put a real race motor inside of one of our projects. And that for that, I'm just like super stoked on. You know, we've built quite a few cars, uh, Justin and I from ground up. And this is, this, this one's, this has been a hard one. This has been a lot of work. And so when this thing rolls out the door, finally assembled and running, and, and it's gonna be a, a very cherished moment. Well, we're at the point now where we're 90% done and we have 90% left to do. But I can't wait until we can get the FJ Bruiser out into the dirt and get some scratches on it because realistically, that's what it was built for. It's built to be unstoppable and it's built to be a bruiser.